everyone, this is Tiki Mando here. We're gonna be making a Dearly Departed. It is a custom drink uh, that I kind of made up that we're gonna be making. Uh, you're gonna need a few things here though. Recipe will be right here for what you need to grab. So pause the video here and then when you're ready, come along and let's make the drink. Keep passion fruit and guava nectar just lying around because that's pretty hard to do. Uh, it gets mold pretty quickly. Um, I guess mold really likes guava and passion fruit. In any case, we're gonna be using what I froze a while ago. Um, I have guava nectar here and passion fruit. We're gonna be using about a quarter of ounce if you have fresh. Um, I have small little uh, ice cube trays that I used to make ice cubes, uh, ice cubes of uh, these drinks. So this is about a fourth of an ounce. And I'm gonna be using the guava juice here, another fourth of an ounce, approximately. And then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna take le uh, lemon uh, juice. This is super juice again. Shout out to Kevin Klaus at cocktail time. And we're gonna be doing about three fourths an ounce of that. So this actually has some good measurements in here. If you can kind of see, there are some ridges. That's what I'm looking at. right and after that we're gonna be using a unique spirit Amaro Averna all right now we're gonna be using Amaro Averna three-fourths an ounce the rest is gonna be a one-to-one -one of uh, Appleton Estate Appleton Estate, eight year. Any kind of rum will do. I prefer Jamaican, so does my wife. This is her favorite drink. And then you wanna grab uh, Ray and F you if you can find it. Otherwise, any overproof white rum will do, but it won't be the exact recipe and that's okay. You wanna just make this drink for anybody who likes a nice little rose flavor. That's really what's an interesting portion of this drink. You need the rose. And then we have rose water. This is pretty easy to get. You can get it on Amazon. We can put some affiliate links in the description. Otherwise, you can go to a local grocery store and you can find it, no problem. And you do about, actually, you don't need this thing. You do about three to five drops, whichever you prefer. My wife likes rose flavor. I didn't know that was a flavor, just thought it was a flower, but apparently it is. And now you got the drink. Now, this is the unique portion of the drink where you need an egg white. And you got, I already separate, separated this from the yolk. You pour that in and you're gonna do what's called a dry shake where you add no ice. This will really get those juices flowing. You gotta be pretty aggressive because you really want to get those, this chemical reaction basically to start happening where you get a frothiness to the egg white. All right. Now that that's done, we gotta add some ice. Gonna pop. Magic of editing, I have added ice so you didn't have to sit there and watch me do it. Now we shake it again. This will uh, cool the drink. All right, fully shaken. Coupe glass. Ideally a chilled coupe glass. This was chilled earlier. We're gonna be adding it, no ice, to this drink. Careful, if you have a coupe glass, this drink tends to be a little bit of an overpour. Now, uh, one ingredient that you will need is some Bechaud's bitters. And you can do cool designs if you're creative and talented. So we will go ahead and add in our last ingredient before serving it. 
and that is dried rose buds that are edible. I'm gonna make a little X here. All right, and that is how you make a dearly departed. <laughs>